Hi, this is Lonnie Clark, YouTubers, and um, this is a mirrored event with Kevin Blanche, who's in New York at 1 o'clock. He's probably already halfway done or mostly done with his event, because it's New York time, 1 o'clock. And um, this is for the post-ignorance movement that is sprouting across America to end nuclearism and to stop the nuclear corporate lies. Our children are dying of cancer. A study came out this week that said the number one killer of children in America is now cancer. And we actually need to get off our asses and start calling our representatives and demanding not just them stopping Fukushima, figuring out how to stop Hanford, which is a freaking turn in the Northwest into the nuclear Northwest. We need to end all nuclear. And look, those people that own the nuclear plants, I'm under no illusions. They will be decide themselves to get rich because that's their motive. They want to get rich. But they don't have to get rich while they're murdering millions and billions of people and giving us all cancer and killing humanity. I'm standing in what should be an enjoyable drizzle in a raincoat in Oregon because I don't want the radioactive fallout to get on my body. I'm actually concerned my hands are not, are not covered. So it's, it's completely out of control. I'm not, I'm not some wild lunatic activist person. I'm just a regular American who found out about Fukushima and guess what? Fukushima is off the charts off the charts getting worse every single day. Last week there was an article coming out of Japan that said 100 Hiroshima. Radioactivity is being emitted into the air 100 times Hiroshima every single day since 3-11-11. And whoever these people are at the Oregon State University who tell the world that nuclear is okay, it's a great science, it helps heal people, is being paid by the nuclear industry to promote their murderous, murderous industry which kills millions and millions of people to this day. I'm here with Jasmine of the Conservation, um, our Islands Conservation Center. Thaston is the videographer so you don't get to see him, you've seen him before. But his people are be, have been murdered. Three out of four children there are born with birth defects or death. The people there die of diabetes, their lifespan is no more than 55, 60 live in ill health most of their lives. The U.S. government has placated them, taken down their names, followed them through a system, and watched them fucking systematically die. It's bullshit. It's just, we do not need to accept nuclear lies, because guess what? Fukushima is headed our way. It's coming, and we need to make them stop. They, there, are, there is science where they can bury all of those nuclear power plants, and they're not doing it. You know why? It's expensive. And they're afraid it's going to rock the world economy if they tell the truth about how catastrophic Fukushima is. So I'm encouraging everybody to freaking get involved. Here is flyers. I'll post them on my Facebook page. And you guys can print them out and use them. It has contact numbers that give you some basic facts about the truth of nuclear because nuclear is killing people right now. The radioactive fallout that we're not being warned about in the United States is being warned about in Europe. They're farther away from Fukushima. They get it the last. And in Europe, they have careful signs to tell people to wear an umbrella, cover up, don't let the radioactivity get on you. In the United States, we have got to end this. And it is up to us. We need to speak out and we need to stop it. We have the power. It's not power. We don't want the power. We just want to be able to live without a nuclear life. We want a post-nuclear era. And we are the beginning. So thank you, Kevin Blatt, for your event today. Thank you, Edward Viso, for all the Fukushima Leach. Seriously, thank you to Miss Milky the Clown for her awesome work. Missing Sky One, Patrick Penry, for exposing the FOIA documents, which you can get on Patrick Penry's website, Patrick Penry Unbound. He has all the FOIA documents from the months following Fukushima that shows our government knew how bad it was, but they made a judgment call so that it would not topple the, a tiltering economy. And honestly, I could go into it as to why I think these freaking Republicans are trying to co collapse our economy. It is related to Fukushima if you connect the dots. Genocide repeated all over again. Well, I don't accept time. the idea of genocide, and I think if all of us get out and speak out and come together and change the mindset, but you know what? We cannot change it if we don't talk about it. You can't change what you don't acknowledge. That's the first basic step of psychology, isn't it? So let's just start healing our planet. Let's teach each other EFT, emotional freedom technique, so that we can 
you know, manage the anxiety that's coming because we are being radiated. In 10 years, most people will have cancer. Most children will have thyroid problems. It is going to be catastrophic. So, I'll stop ranting. <laughs> Pump that for a rant. <laughs> that was my first YouTube rant, you guys. <laughs>